Circus Festival, jour 3. À l'affiche, Sandy B, une légende venue d'Afrique du Sud, représentant du Kwaito, mouvement musical des années 90, dépoussiéré ces derniers temps par des diggers qui lui donnaient une nouvelle vie. J'avais hâte de rencontrer ce personnage rayonnant comme un soleil, qui soulevait les foules partout sur son passage, portant en lui toute une histoire méconnue ici. Et magie du Circus Festival, la neige s'est invitée à son concert, il la voyait pour la première fois de sa vie. Yeah, let's go. Wow. All I can say is wow. I'm on stage and then it started pouring. You know, it was white all over. It looked so beautiful. Let's go. Oh, quite a music um, started in, in South Africa, um, in the townships um, in, uh, in Johannesburg mostly. Uh, in the early 90s. It was an influence of um, different genres, like a bit of hip hop, a bit of house, a bit of this and that. So it was just a few artists who were trying it uh, in, 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 in Johannesburg. And I was, I'm based in, in, in Durban in a different province, which is like five hours drive uh, from, from uh, uh, Durban to, to Johannesburg. So there was no quite at that moment. <laughs> So when I started, it was also, uh, in a way, uh, trying to, to, to give uh, hope to other artists who are based in our, in our province. I had to start from nothing, unsigned, um, no financial resources, Um, I don't, at that point in time as well, I didn't even have a proper home because of the political background in, in the country. Uh, before apartheid, uh, we, uh, we got scattered and, you know, uh, it was like many issues, you know. But when I started, it, 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 it gave me the title as the first one in my province to, re to have To, to have uh, pioneered the Guaido music and recorded and, and, and uh, released independently. I had premises that helped other artists as well in my province, uh, uh, provided a lot of resources which my province never had before previously, uh, which I started from nothing as well, uh, trying to bridge the gap between uh, Johannesburg and Durban so that people don't have to travel all that way. Everybody say, hola, hola, hola. When the world uh, discovered uh, Sandy B, Kwaito vibe, came as a surprise, yes, but also at the same, same time, from back then, whenever I made music, uh, some of my friends used to say uh, it used to be ahead of time. You know, it wasn't always something which is just for, for that particular moment and, pass, and passing. And also, I never rushed for fame as well. I always like, you know, if whatever music that I make, if anyone discovers it in the next hundred years, they must be able to dance for it and enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> the international markets discovered the, the album, uh, the record, The Diggers, and then it was on Boiler Room. Uh, when uh, DJ uh, from Johannesburg played it, uh, DJ Okapi. He releases incredibly good compilations of like South African music from the 80s. DJ Okapi. And then I started receiving these emails from different parts of the world. Hey, that, uh, this good, uh, you know, can we do a reissue? And it was like some kind of a battle from different parts of the world. And I was like, who are these people <laughs> all of a sudden, you know? And then I started touring. Um, and for me, at the same time, it's like it co it's a compensation for all uh, all these years, you know, uh, not not even worried about getting signed, uh, helping other artists as well. For me, it's always it was always uh, about uh, being uh, generous to people and 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 try to give them hope to say, you know what, even if you don't have money, even if you don't have proper resources, something can can happen. You can conquer the world. There's one big collaboration which I did recently um, 
and I saw people responding very well to the song everywhere there have uh, been so far um, with uh, Roisin Murphy. She's amazing. She's amazing. I, I, I'm, I don't want to, I didn't want to say this um, in front of cameras or whatever, but you know, I'm just waiting for just one day, even if it takes um, uh, 20 years just to be on stage with her once, because I think she's got my vibe. You know, she's like, you know, crazy, 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 crazy. She's got a good energy, you know, she's lovely. She's got a very good heart. I love her so much. Yeah.